Hello everyone. In this video, we shall discuss the concepts of exponents and powers. We can write large numbers in a shorter form using exponents. So, using exponents, we can write large numbers in a shorter form. Exponential form of a number. So, what is this? 10,000 can be written as 10 into 10 into 10 into 10. So, 10 is multiplied 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 10 and on the right top, we write 4. It means that 10 is multiplied 4 times. 10 is the base. 4 is the exponent. And this is the exponential form of 10,000. This is read as 10 raised to 4 or 10 raised to the power of 4 or 4th power of 10. Let's see a few more examples. 243 can be written as 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. So 3 is multiplied 5 times which can be written as 3 raised to the power of 5. 3 is the base, 5 is the exponent and this is the exponential form of 243. Similarly, this one a into a into a is a raised to the power of 3 or we can read it as a cubed. Whenever the exponent is 3, we can read it as cubed. a into a is a raised to the power of 2 or a squared. So 2 as the exponent is read as squared. If 3 is the exponent, we can read it as cubed. There are certain laws of exponents that we need to know. Here a and b are non-zero integers. That means all the integers except 0. And m and n are whole numbers. First law is a raised to the power of m into a raised to the power of n. If in this form it is given, where you have the same base multiplication sign, then add up the exponents. So, a raised to the power of m plus n. Second law, same base division sign, then subtract the exponents, m minus n. If you have two exponents, that is power of a power, a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n. Multiply the exponents. Here m n means multiplication, m into n. The next law is when we have different bases, a and b, and a multiplication sign, but then we have same exponent. So multiply the base, a into b, a b, raised to the power of m. When we have different bases and a division sign, but then same exponent, then we divide the base, that is a divided by b, the whole raised to the power of m. a raised to 0 equals to 1. Minus 1 raised to even number or even power is always 1. And minus 1 raised to an odd number is equal to minus 1. Now let's see the examples for all these laws of exponents. Same base, multiplication sign, add the exponents and that's the answer. 2 raised to the power of 5. Same base, multiplication sign, add the exponents. So the answer is minus 3 raised to the power of 7. Same base, division sign, subtract the exponents. 7 minus 4 is 3. So 3 raised to the power of 3. Same base, division sign, subtract the exponents. 15 minus 13 and that's 20 raised to the power of 2. Third law, power of a power. So we multiply both the exponents. Multiply 2 and 4. So 2 4 is 8. 6 raised to the power of 8 is the answer. Power of a power, 50 into 2. 52 is 100. So 7 raised to the power of 100. Different base, multiplication sign, same exponent. Multiply the base, that's 4 to the 8 raised to the power of 3. Same way here, different base, multiplication sign. So 3 into a can be written as 3a and raised to the power of 2. Next one, different base, division sign, same exponents. So divide 
the basis that is 2 by 3 raised to the power of 4. It can be given in this form also. So this means a by b raised to the power of 3. Any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 3 raised to the power of 0 is 1. 100 raised to the power of 0 is 1. But then a can be any number except 0. Last one, minus 1 raised to the power of 5. This is an odd number. This would be minus 1. And minus 1 raised to the power of even number would be 1. And you can actually multiply and see for yourself. Minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, 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 plus, plus, minus, minus. So this is minus 1. So you don't have to do multiplication. Just see if there's an odd number, write minus 1. If it's an even number, write positive 1 or plus 1 or simply 1. Standard form of a number. Any number can be expressed as a decimal number between 1 and 10 including 1 multiplied by a power of 10. Such a form of number is called its standard form. For example, 5985.3. If you want to write it in standard form, you need to shift this decimal point after 5 because we know that the number has to be between 1 and 10 multiplied by a power of 10. So to shift this, if you are shifting the decimal point here, so that would be 5.9853 into 1000 and this can be written as into 10 raised to the power of 3. Now how would you know what power of 10 you have to multiply the number with? So see where you are placing the decimal point. We are shifting it 3 places to the left. So what you can do is simply divide and multiply by the same number. Since I want this decimal point at this place that is after 5, 1, 2, 3. So divide by 1000 and multiply by 1000. And this whole thing would become 5.9853. The decimal point would shift 3 places to the left into 10 raised to the power of 3. 65,950. There is no decimal point which means the decimal point is here after 0. So we want the decimal point after 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Moving 4 places to the left. That means dividing by 10,000 and multiplying by 10,000. So this whole thing would become 6.5950 into 10 raised to the power of 4 which can be written as this also. This 0 doesn't have any value. And the last example, this is quite big number. So this is a whole number. That means the decimal point is here. We can write it like this also. Right? So now count how many places we need to shift. We want the decimal point after 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So divide this by 1 and then put 10 zeros and then 1. 10 zeros. So this whole thing would become 7.004 into 10 to the power of 10. So this is the standard form. This is the standard form of this big number. I hope all these concepts are clear to you. Thank you.